And welcome to Broadside Intercom and Society. Hello, I'm looking for a number, please. Well, I can help you with that. Is it business or residential? Business. And what's the name of the business? It's Dr. Hosier in Campbelltown, please. Hmm, do you have a rash, do you? I beg your pardon? Oh, I'm just assuming you've probably got a rash or an STD. That's why most people see doctors. People see doctors for other things, you know. Sure. Are you pregnant? That's none of your business. Hmm. If you must know, I need to get a wart removed. That's disgusting. You are highly inappropriate. So a wart's but you've got one. Excuse me, I would like to speak to your supervisor immediately. Okay, I found a Dr. Hosier in Campbelltown. I'm Do just going to repeat the name me. back to you before I connect you. Dr. Hosea H for hug warts, O for only ogres get warts, S for shower more frequently and you won't get warts, I for it's probably genital warts, E for everything you touch tends to warts, and R for rusty warty hag. Excuse me, you are a complete half-wit. Oh, I'd rather be a half-wit than a full wart. You are the rudest phone operator in the history of phone operators, and I'm going to report you. There's over 600 employees in this call centre, so good luck with that. I know your name is Heidi. Is it Heidi, or did I just make it up? Maybe it's Deep and Jolly and I'm actually Indian. This is so unprofessional. You are a horrible person. Please connect my call now so I can be done with you. Before I connect you, do you mind leaving some feedback on your experience today? Yes, yes I would. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate the customer service you've received today? Zero. Ten? Oh, you're so kind. That's not what I said. Was that you or the wart talking? Would you stop talking about warts and do your job? Do you want to see my impression of a wart talking? No. <laughs>